This is our field. This is our field. Air control on three. One, one two, two, three. Air control. control. Three, two, one. Woo! Kyle Simmons and the U18 Cambridge Lions looking to stay perfect in OSFL football. The Lions on their home field Saturday going for a third straight win to start the season. They were facing the Brampton Bulldogs at Jacob Hespler. Opening quarter, this is Breck Mangarov rolling left. He hits Braden Radford who takes the ball to the one yard line. The Lions on the doorstep looking to strike first and they cap off the drive with this run from Eric Laffin. He scores from one yard out. Laffin and the Lions with an early 7-0 lead. Brampton now with the ball. The handoff to Nicholas Park, and he's got nowhere to go. Hayden Paul comes flying in and makes the tackle. Good D there from Paul. Next play, it's another handoff, and look out, maybe O'Alias and Owen Ellis combining for this tackle. It's a loss of nine yards on the play. The Bulldogs forced to punt it away. Still in the first, the handoff to Mr. John Gittens. He goes up the middle, and it's a big run from Gittens. That play leading to a rouge. Cambridge is up 8 nothing after the opening quarter to the second and back to the Lions defense. Nathan Rogers with the reception. Here comes Tyson Oliu for the tackle. He trips up Rogers. Oliu getting it done. Same possession. Watch number 98. That's Cole Davenport. Hey Cole, why don't you give us a sack? Dynamite from Davenport. Cambridge is up 15 nothing. Back to the highlights in a minute. First a reminder. This video is presented by Allstate Cambridge. A proud supporter of local sports. Call Allstate for a free quote for home and auto insurance at 226-444-4465. Still in the second, watch the near sideline. Jensen Button with a terrific catch. That's a first down for the Lions. And a few plays later, it's more from Button. He is wide open on the far side. Button with the catch, and he takes the ball into the red zone. Cambridge on the move, trying to extend the lead. They have the ball on the five-yard line, and it's a QB keeper from Breck Mangaroff. He takes it to the house. Cambridge looking good with a 21 point advantage. Later in the second, how about this catch from Ethan Evely? He climbs the ladder and oh my, Ethan Evely. He's got it for a touchdown. Excellent from Evely. As we watch the replay, it's 28 0 Cambridge at the break. Third quarter now, more Lions offense. Cody Highland looking long. Titan Gowden is there and he's got it for a touchdown. Another terrific reception from a Lions receiver. Gowden with a 21-yard major. He makes it 35 nothing as we move to the fourth. And here's the final touchdown of the game. Jensen Button is behind everyone. He's wide open. That's an 18-yard passing play. The Lions up 42 nothing, And that was the final on Saturday afternoon. Cambridge is now 3-0 this season. Here is Ethan Evely after the game talking about his spectacular catch in the second quarter. We practice contested catches all the time, so you know we have a lot of talent on the team. So whenever you get an opportunity, like you have to come down with it. Well, I just want to win. Like this is the most talented football team I've ever played for. Like, I've never started off three and zero, and I'm going to do everything I can to win a championship this year. It was just insanity. He's a great player. He hustles every play. He's a quiet guy. Just puts his head down and works, and you can see it shows up on Saturdays. I had no idea he was going to catch. Just went up and got it over top of his head. It was crazy. When he runs a corner route, it's just going to be a catch. And and I said the ball got thrown. And truth be told, it probably wasn't the right read, uh, and it was covered and well covered. And the ball went in the air, and our whole sideline took a breath. And I said, "He's going to catch it," and he caught it. It's what he does. You know, he's he's a man of few words, but a man of a lot of actions. And uh, he works hard every night. He competes, uh, and our guys have tons of confidence with him. And, and you see that with the throw. He's a great football player. I think one of the more underrated football players in our area uh, in the last five or six years. And if we had had more seasons, like yeah, him being a 12 plus, if we had had more seasons without COVID, he'd be a household name. So great for him. It's a great throw, great catch, and you know, he works. He he works super hard. He's a leader for us. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.